Hey guys, how you doing today? I hope your weekend's going well. Uh, I hope you're finding lots of cool video game stuff. Um, I, I know this, this weekend's been a really busy weekend for me. I found quite a bit of stuff uh, Friday and Saturday. I really hit the pavement hard. Uh, last uh, Friday night I was off and I did a little bit of drinking, but I managed to get up uh, Saturday morning early, about 7 o'clock, and uh, just start hitting that pavement. That's uh, basically what... Um, game hunting is all about, if you ask me anyway. It's, it's just about numbers. But I did manage to pick up a lot of stuff that I wanted to share with you guys this weekend. Um, I started, like I said, I started about, I got up about seven. I was out the door at quarter to eight. Uh, <clears throat> and I went and got my coffee, two large coffees, and I was ready to go. I mean, uh, that was, uh, I hit the um, Craigslist, saw what was going on. No video game sales advertised. I did not see anything like that. I basically, whenever that, that doesn't stop me. I always, there's usually video games everywhere. So I, I say, well, let me see what's going on. So let's get on with it here. Uh, one of the first sales that I stopped at um, Saturday was, um, or yesterday morning early, was uh, a sale that had a lot of baby clothes and stuff like that, a lot of knickknacks and things. But, um, I did find uh, in a box, and I don't know if it works. I don't know what the deal with it is, but it was a uh, Super Nintendo, a very yellow Super Nintendo. Uh, and I don't, like I said, I don't know if it works. It's got a crack on the bottom there, uh, but it was only five bucks, so I paid five bucks for it. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what goes on with this. I'm, I'm curious to see if it works or not. Um, it came with the uh, no power cable. She, I think she said she had one, but she didn't know where it was at. And I, she said uh, she got my number, and she said that if she finds it, she'll she'll call me. And I can come get it. But it did come with the one uh, OEM controller, which is a decent shape. And the RF cable, RF adapter. So we got that. And then, like I said, it was only it was only five bucks. So you know, uh, it, it, and anything, I have five bucks to get a controller and an RF adapter. These go for like five to ten bucks anyway. So it's not a big deal. Uh, so we got that. Um, stopped at another yard sale, not far away. I picked up a lot of other things too, uh, besides video game stuff. I. As a lot of you guys probably know, I have a small business where I buy, sell items and whatnot. So uh, video games is uh, kind of like my passion, but it's not the bulk of what I find. I mean, it's just something that I keep an eye out on. Um, I went to a one-yard sale, and lady had in a box uh, with uh, all the hookups. She had a... Um, very dirty, dusty, but it seemed to be in good shape. Uh, PlayStation 2. She had PlayStation 2 with uh, uh, the memory card. Looks like the two memory cards. Um, oh, they're actually uh, they're Mad Cats memory cards. Uh, two uh, two Dual Shock 2 controllers here. Two of those guys. Um, she was. I asked her how much she was want, asking for them, and she said that she wanted. Uh, she said that she wanted um, thirty bucks for them, and I, I. There's no way I was going to be able to pay thirty bucks for it. Um, that's probably what I would. That's probably what I would get for it. So, I, I think you know. I asked her. I said, "Listen, uh, would you just get 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 this uh, you know off your hands, and I'll give you fifteen dollars for it?" And she picked it up, and she was looking at it. And she said, oh, what does it come with, and this and that. And I think she realized that uh, it was, you know, pretty pretty dirty. I said, well, you know, I'll spend some time and clean it up. And uh, so she let me have it for 15 bucks. So what I'll probably do is, uh, I don't know, I've already got a couple of places. I've been finding those pretty regular lately, so I'll probably just get rid of that, trade it off for something else. So, yeah, we got... Uh, and the games, she had some games with it, but there wasn't anything that I was really interested in, so I just kind of passed on the games. Uh, I went to another yard sale, and they they didn't have 
very much of anything, honestly. Uh, but I did ask them if they maybe had some old, um, you know, video games or anything like that at the house. Uh, and the guy said that he did have uh, two Dreamcasts. And um, he came out and he brought up these two Dreamcasts. This guy right here. And uh, it's... He did mention that one of the Dreamcasts did not work. Um, it'll, it boots, but it, nothing happens. Uh, he didn't know. He, he didn't know where the cables or anything were. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you can use a PlayStation 2 power cable for this. I think they're the same same ones. I'll have to try it, but I don't have I don't have an AV cable for this, so I'm going to have to order an AV cable to test them out. Uh, I might be able to. I might be able to fix it. I'm gonna give it a shot uh, just to see. If not, if not, I'll just uh, get rid of it for parts. But yeah, there's there's uh, two of those. So uh, let's see. We got two of those. One's uh, one's a little bit. Looks like uh, well, that's not correct. That's just the way it is, I guess. So we got two Dreamcast. He came out with uh, he came out with a bunch of uh, games for him too. Whatever I did with that. Oh, what in the world did I do with those? Um. Oh, yeah. Check this out. He came out with a with a bunch of. Ooh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. A lot of stuff here. Came out with all these pirated um, Dreamcast games. And it's like, I don't know, Quake Arena. I remember playing that on the PC. That was a cool game. I mean, there's just tons and tons of uh, zombie revenge. I mean, actually, I'm kind of, it's kind of cool. To have to, I didn't even know you could. Um, I asked him, I said, what, is the system modded or something? And I didn't realize, apparently, uh, in the Dreamcast days, you didn't even have to have a modded system. I, I guess you could just uh, burn to CDRs and uh, and uh, play your games like that, I guess. I, 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 have, I remember when Dreamcast came out, but I've got very limited product knowledge of it. Um, it did come with uh, some legitimate games, though. Um, yeah. Jeremiah Freed. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, what it came with was uh, the ones that are in the, in the spindle. A lot of these are not really worth anything, nothing special. Um, but I might just clean them up. I, got, I have a machine, a JFG uh, Easy Pro machine, that'll basically get these things looking new again. So uh, what it did come with was uh, uh, trick, trick style. Um... Uh, Sega GT, Sega uh, Sports NBA 2000, came with uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, came with, uh, I don't know what kind of, this looks like kind of a cool game, Carrier, never, never heard of that one, but that was kind of neat, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is like real popular with House of the Dead. I'd have, I don't hold me to that, but I think that's what it was. Uh, ready to Rumble Boxing. And probably the two... Um, well, it's not... There's Shadow Man. A lot of these are dirty, and, and uh, they're scuffed up, and they're going to be need to be resurfaced. And I'll probably take care of that at some point when I get some time. Lately, I've just been getting so many video game items... I, I just don't even have the time really to, to do anything, and it's it's just uh, I'm not going to say I wish garage sale season would slow down because good lord, I mean I, I love uh, going out there and finding stuff, but man, it's just it, it's just gotten to where I I'm finding so much stuff. I mean it's a lot more than North Carolina anyway, but uh, yeah. It's, so the, I think the best two games out of the lot was uh, uh, Soul Caliber and. Um, Surprisingly enough, this one is worth about eight to fifteen dollars, and I had no idea until I did a little research. But it's a uh, uh, dynamite cop for the Dreamcast. So, um, 
Oh, that's got a really deep scratch, though, so I don't know if that'll even, uh, you can tell that's got a really deep scratch there. So I don't even know if that'll, uh, I don't even know if that'll buff out, honestly. We'll have to see. We'll give it a shot, find out for sure. But anyway, uh, I asked him, uh, he said, well, he told, told me to make him an offer, and I said, uh, I said, I really don't know. I said, I, you know, one's broken, and I don't know. I don't. You, you don't have the cables. So I offered him 10 bucks, and he let me have them for 10 bucks. Oh, it also came with, uh, of course, it came with the hook. Um, well, didn't, no, it did not come with the hookups, but it did come with the uh, a, a, um, a blue Dreamcast controller with the, uh, with the uh, Dreamcast VMU. So I was that's good. But this stuff been you can tell how dusty it is. It's been sitting in like a box in this basement for the last fifteen years probably. So I rescue it and then let somebody that wants to, you know, let somebody that enjoys this stuff get a chance to play it. So we got that. Uh, what else we got here? Um I went to a yard sale at the be beginning of the morning, and I found a, uh, uh, Xbox 360. Um, I asked about it, and I was told that this, in fact, does have the red ring of death, so, uh, it's going to be a parts unit, but I generally do pretty well with these, with parts. I mean, I, uh, the lady, would call, she had to call her daughter to find out how much she wanted for it. Um, and they, she called her and she said she wanted 10 bucks. I said, do uh, you think she'd take seven? And she said, oh, I'm her mother, and I, I think she would. I said, yeah, because I, I, you know, I, can't, I just use it as parts. It's got red ring. But I do okay with those. I usually, I usually get about 35 or 40 bucks for these. Just, just somebody will fix them up, and I know people that are buying from me. Um, so that was, wasn't too bad. And then uh, I went to a yard sale, and there was a, I believe this is the uh, Rock Band, and I, it's the uh, Xbox 360 uh, wired um, Fender Stratocaster, and uh, came with, it came with, uh, like, Rock Band, um, the rock band game or whatever, and this is the wired one. Okay, this is a, it was five bucks for this in the game, so that was cool. I said, you know, whatever, I'll do something with it. And then let's see here. I went to I went to a oh yeah oh I went to um, trying to find out. I'm not, this is this guy. This is in no particular order, and I apologize for my um, disorganization here. There's just so much stuff. I went to a Savers. I don't know if you guys have a Savers where you were from, but um, and I, we did not when I was in North Carolina. But I had heard about all these people going to Savers, and I really I like I like going to Savers because you never know what you're going to find there. Uh, so I went Friday afternoon, and. Uh, on, on a toy shelf, they had a, another uh, Xbox 360 um, Fender Stratocaster, and uh, it was only uh, $2.99. <laughs> you know what? I, it was only $2.99. I usually send these out to Amazon, and I usually get about about 40 bucks for these. Um, I can get a little more if I bundle some games with it or something like that. But yeah, they, I mean, I don't pass them up because I can get I can make a couple bucks on them. You know, buy a, buy some other video game related items or whatever. Buy sell trade. That's what I do. Um, you gotta keep them. You gotta keep the stuff going. Oh, shit. I guess that's gonna be a discount. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sorry about this, guys. Just trying to get trying to get the stuff. Uh, situated, and then um, while at Savers, I went to the electronics section, 
And I was very surprised at what I found there in the electronic section. I, you never, ever, ever see these uh, at thrift stores. Anyway, I don't. Um, I know a lot of a lot of folks see them. I don't ever see them at thrift. I see them a lot at yard sales, and when I see them, I always buy them. But at the uh, yard sale, they had, um, or not at the uh, Savers, they had, uh, and if you know about Savers, they everything's in like these little bags, like these little poly bags with a price tag on it. So for fourteen ninety five, they had this uh, DSI light. All right, so I mean, it's it's in nice shape. I mean, uh, it's you can tell it's got you know, it works great. You know, it it uh, works nice. Uh, no no heavy scratches. It's got some normal wear and tear uh, scuffing. Looks like the uh, the parts there. You know, uh, it came with uh, inside the game. Lollapoly, lollipoppy, or whatever. <laughs> You can tell it was some obnoxious little girl games. You can tell somebody I had that. But, um, you know, with the, uh, in, in the bag, and I knew I was going to, I knew I had to get this because this stuff, this stuff flies off the shelf. I mean, I, I, I must have just got there when they were putting it out or something. Uh, but, yeah, for, for 15 bucks. And it also came with, uh, it came with this, uh, this little girly pink bag. And um, and in the bag were a bunch of games inside the bag, and uh, nothing nothing that I you know nothing that I you know would personally collect. But there was uh, Pets Nursery. Um, Build a Bear Workshop. Uh, uh, Pinky Party or something. Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb. You can tell a little girl on this or something, you know. Toy Story 3. My, Sim My Sims Kingdom. And uh, Dora the Snow Princess. So yeah, those are all those are all be going to somebody that can that'll enjoy them. They're not my type of games. But what really, really um, cooked my noodle was not just was there one, but there was two DSs on in the same area, and I. I, I, I couldn't, I just really could not even believe it. I've never, uh, I, you know, it was almost like maybe, uh, maybe, and there was also like some DS cases. I'm thinking like somebody donated their kids DSs that day or something like that. But this was only $12.99, $12.99. And they didn't have chargers, but, but look, man, they, they uh, you see, it, it, it powers on real nice. Um, it's in great shape. I'm probably going to end up, I'm probably gonna end up keeping this one, you know. It's it's a little dirty, but uh, it did not come with the stylus, and the uh, front piece is missing. But it's not a big deal. But for twelve twelve dollars and ninety nine cents at Savers, <laughs> all day. Yep. So we got that, and then uh, let's see here. What else did we get? Um, I went on to a yard sale. Um, in the next city, and they had it was like a it was a small community sale. There were a little um, row of apartments, probably about five or six um, apartments, had a uh, a sale. Nothing really for me. Uh, I was asking if maybe they had there were some video game items. Uh, the guy said no, but I was talking to the people. I was it was towards the end of the day. I was tired. And I didn't feel like really doing much of anything else. Um, and I was talking around, I was talking to people, and as I was leaving, the guy asked me if I collected Game Boy uh, stuff, any Game Boy Advance or anything. I said, uh, I do collect uh, those Game Boy uh, stuff. So I guess he had went inside um, uh, while I was talking to the other people, and uh, he came out, and um, 
and he put these on a table and he said, uh, you know, we worked something out, but basically for 13 bucks, I bought from him nothing super, super awesome, no huge home run or anything like that, but for 13 bucks, I got uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, Paperboy Rampage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Sonic the Hedgehog, and the two best, Yoshi's Island, and the absolute best, uh, Pokemon Leaf Green. So that was uh, 13 bucks. I probably would not have, if, if looking uh, retrospectively, I probably would not have uh, gotten these first four, and I probably would have just, because he, he wanted like five bucks for two, so I probably would have just, uh, if I weren't, you know, if I hadn't just bought so much that day, I just, I was just, I was going to buy in Frenzy or buy in Mood, but I probably would just would have bought these for five bucks and, and, and you know, be done with it, but it's all good. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll probably just get rid of these. So somebody will buy them up from me, I'm sure. Um, oh, and then also at the Savers, I found uh, for two ninety nine, it's uh, Xbox three sixty power uh, brick, which I mean these are always these always come in handy. They come with the cable, but those can be had other places, I'm sure. So yeah, we got that. It was only two dollars and ninety nine cents, so whatever. Um, and let's see, uh, that was, uh, that, uh, the absolute best, best, best find of the day, uh, was really, really cool. I went to a guy's house, um, and he, uh, he had just like a bunch of kids toys, he's a young guy, he's probably about 25 years old, and, uh, he had a bunch of kids toys and, and everything. I asked him, I said, hey, man, do uh, you guys maybe have, like, you know, video games or Nintendo stuff or anything? And um, he just said, hold on a second. Let me go check. So he goes inside, and he said, he's like, I got to talk to my girl. Goes inside, uh, talks to her, comes out, says, uh, we do have some, like, GameCube things, but <clears throat> it belonged to my girlfriend's grandmother, and I'd have to, have to ask her if she wants to, you know, do anything with it, get rid of it or whatever. So I said, well, yeah, if you can go ask her, that'd be great. So he comes he comes out. Um, I waited about five, ten minutes or whatever. And he comes out with this stack of stuff. And um, he said, I can sell this stuff. And so uh, what he came out with was Aero Acrobat for the Super NES. Caesar's Palace, We're Back, A Dinosaur Story, Mega Man X for the Super NES, uh, a complete, uh, and a really nice copy. This is actually, uh, it's a little bit, it's going to need some resurfacing, but, um, uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption for the Wii. Uh, and a really nice uh, Atomic uh, Purple Game Boy, Game Boy Color with uh, a Pelican um, power adapter and uh, you know the magnifier and everything, but what, uh, what really sealed the deal is when it, this was the game that he had he had on top <clears throat> of the stack. <clears throat> when I see, when I saw this game, I said I'm going to have to get this whole thing anyway. But and I, I was just talking to my pal Biz NES 17 uh, about this uh, not not a week or two ago. Uh, I have about 115 eBay bucks that. I want that I was going to spend, and I, I said we were talking back and forth. I said, well, you know, what game would I want to get and, and everything? 
And the game that I was going to buy, I found at this yard sale. And it is uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day and just just beautiful condition. I mean, it's 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 not even, I mean, it's not, it's got some, it's, it doesn't have any dings or anything. As you can tell, it's got a little bit of wear on it, but the label is just beautiful. And, and to find them like this, um, I was really, really happy. I had to get rid of mine a while back. And, uh, you know, these on eBay sell for, like, in a condition like this is an 80 or $90 game. Um, so I, I, I definitely had to uh, I had to take that. But, yeah, um, I asked him how much he wanted for that. And he said, um, uh, how about 35 bucks?" So, basically, I paid him 35 bucks for that little lot. And, um, and, that, was, uh, and that was that. And I said, and when I told him, I you know I'd give him thirty five. He said, well, how much would you have given me? Uh, how much uh, more would you have uh, really given me? I said, honestly, man, I was hoping you'd say fifteen bucks. And once I said that, he's like, he, he, I think he thought he got a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. So yeah, guys, it was uh, it was a pretty good day. I <clears throat> I'll say I must say I get a lot of a lot of this stuff for free. I guess once I get rid of the, what I don't need. But yeah, it was a good day and. Um, I hope you guys had a really good day. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll go out looking for anything tomorrow, um, but we'll see, you know, Sunday. Uh, usually not very productive on Sundays. There's not a lot going on. There are some Sunday sales. I might take a look. But anyway, let me know what you guys found. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I appreciate you guys watching this very long and drawn-out video. But uh, thanks a lot, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Right, and uh, have a great weekend.